The first of the eight fights in the Super Series tournament, uh, World Boxing Super Series tournament, I should say, at Bantamweight, has been named between Zolane Tete, the third seed, and Michelle Aloyan, who uh, seeding I'm not sure of. Uh, it's going to be taking place in Russia, in Inkantarinburg, if, if that pronunciation is anywhere near right. I like the fact Tete is willing to go anywhere to fight. He's a real globe trotter. I think that's a necessary box to tick when you're a world champion. And he definitely will, as his seeding suggests, be the odds on favourite to win this fight. Now, Aloyan is a pretty decorated amateur. He's a double world champion. I think he scooped up two Olympic medals. I think he got the bronze in the London Olympics back in 2012. So he's pretty good and you can see he has that amateur style of trying to be kind of quite slick, quite neat and then get out of there. He can brawl a little bit himself as he showed in his last fight. He's only had four pro fights though and um, perhaps he has, um, his style will have somewhat stagnated I think with that or been molded by that amateur style whereas Tete has been a pro for much longer, uh, will have fought um, a bigger variety of styles of course, and um, just in terms of sheer talent between these two, there's I think there's a big difference. First, we have the gulf in natural stature. Tete is about half a foot taller. He has a much longer reach, and he hits a lot harder. Now, Aloyan, it doesn't help the fact that he prefers to box, of course, most decent, well-decorated amateur boxers. They're um, very good fencers, if you will. They're very good at um, hitting and not getting hit and moving, but that kind of hit and not get hit isn't really going to be working against Tete with his 72 inch reach, his uh, 5 foot 9 stature and how good he is at using that reach. He's very side on Tete. They're both southpaws but he's the one here. Much, uh, he really guards his body very well despite how um, tall he is. He's going to be throwing that right southpaw jab and then he's going to be looking to whip up the uppercut when Aloyan realises right staying on the outside isn't very fruitful. Let's try and get in. Tete's got a brutal left uppercut and he'll be looking to land that so it's pretty hard to make a case for the Russian of how he wins this fight with him not being particularly powerful and with him preferring to box that is not the recipe to beat someone like that the South African sniper it was um who could be uh I think I'm not sure about Ryan Burnett being the number one seed I would it would be one and two would be Anui and Tete for me interchangeable because I'm not sure who's going to win this so that's what makes it pretty interesting and um, just as an overall point I love the production values as many people have commented on the World Boxing Super Series tournament and it's great for the bantamweights who are getting some good spot, uh, spotlight put on them in this time in what is a very good tournament. But Tete, I think he's going to have too much for Aloyan. If he doesn't uh, get him out of there later on for a late round stoppage, I expect something of a pretty wide unanimous decision. 13th of October, I'm looking forward to it. What do you think?